In the previous video, we've seen how we implemented the Reminders application, how we created a page that shows us um, a list of all the reminders that we have, and we could just click on a link to add a new reminder, and that link would take us to a new page where we get this form, and we um, fill out all the necessary information inside of that form, and submit it. And so when we submit it and get back to our main page, we can see that now our list has the new reminder that we've added. So in this video, we're going to add a little more additional features to our application, which are the HTTP response redirect and reverse. So this is views.py and here we have um, our list of reminders and that's the form, the class. Um, in which we have a variable called reminder where the user is going to write inside of that char field, character field, um, the new reminder that he'd like to add. And so this is the index page which um, has a list, um, sorry, the add page and the index page. And so the add function um, is going to see if that request.post is post meaning that if the user submitted some information, we're going to save that information in a new form. And if that form is valid, I'm going to get this variable reminder and see if it's uh, valid. And I'm going to append it to my list. And that list is outside of the class and all of, outside all of the functions in order to access it. And if there was no information, um, first, of course, if it's valid, I'm going to return, uh, if it's not, sorry, I'm going to be returning the old form with the um, form that he submitted. And if the user did not actually um, submit information, so if the requested method is get, I'm going to give the user a new form for him to fill and um, submit. So, and we saw the page. So, we have to first run python manage.py run server and so that's just a recap of what we've done so far so now um, when i click on submit i should receive the link that comes within so that http link and paste it here so of course the page not found because we did not specify the application so reminders is the application this is the page and this is the list of reminders and one thing we notice if is sorry if you want to add a new reminder and let's say i want to add go to the gym and submit that form i am returned to that same page and if i want to uh, go um, and see that list again I have to click on that link to give me that page but this wasn't quite the behavior that I might have expected maybe I want that maybe after I've submitted that form to add a new reminder I would like to be redirected back to this page as well so without having to click on that link um, which is right here and so it turns out that Django makes it easier for us to be able to redirect users from one page to another and in order to do that after we add a new reminder to my list of reminders I'm going to return an HTTP response redirect so and so the HTTP response redirect is going to redirect the user to a particular route as I said and so we're going to add it after we append the new reminder to our list of reminders so I'm going to return a HTTP um, response redirect and and I could just redirect them to just like um slash reminders which is my index page as you can see inside of my URLs so it's by default the reminders <coughs> We didn't add any additional route so when we go to slash reminders as we saw here without the 
and of course I'm redirected to this page but of course we don't want to add um, <coughs> we're not we're going to try not to add some hardcore URLs into our application so we don't want to add slash reminders I want Django um, to figure out the URL so let me give you the name of the route and go ahead and reverse engineer what the route actually is from that and so in order to do that we can use the function called reverse built into Django and say so instead of that we're going to be saying so so reverse and inside of the reverse I'm going to specify um, reminders which is the name, app name of my urls.py which is right here and followed by the name of the path that I would like to go to so the index I would like to go to that index page which is the name of that path my default path so now this as I said is to say to Django figure out what the URL um, or what the index URL is for that reminders app and use that URL that will ultimately redirect me um, whenever I submit that um, whenever uh, sorry I append that I'm going to be re re redirected to that page and so we need to import also from Django that HTTP that HTTP response redirect so I'll be importing HTTP response redirect and of course um, from Django I need to um, sorry Django.urls I need to import reverse so in order to use them we have to import them and now I'm going to be saving my page um, as I said I've imported both of these and uh, now the effect of this is after I submit a new reminder and add it to my list of reminders I'm going to be redirected back to that index page of my reminders application and for good measures I'll go ahead and start off my per so first of all I'm going to um, em make my list empty so let's begin with having an empty list of reminders and um, go ahead and run so or refresh my application so now as we can see our list is empty and so let's add a new reminder and so let's say call mom and click on submit and as you can see we are the moment I clicked on submit I have been redirected to this page um, automatically I didn't have to click on that link to get me back to the main page you can see now that my list has one reminder which is called mom and so now let's say I want to add another reminder I can just add it so submit and it's added now to make our application better we can do one more thing so which is um, when when our list is initially empty we can do something to our code to make it a little bit better so we can say that if our list um, was empty so we're going to say that by adding inside of curly bracelets and percentage signs empty so that's the way I say if um, if that list is empty I'm going to add another list item to my list which is no reminders and if it's not empty that won't appear so now in order to um, uh, to have an empty list if I refresh it it's going to be the same list so in order to have an empty list again I'm going to rerun my server so the moment I rerun my server um, all the information that I've added is gone so python manage.py run server so now if I go ahead and refresh my page I can see that I have no reminders this is my new list and if I go ahead and add uh, call mom we can see that now the no reminders is gone we don't we no longer have it 
um, because my list is no longer empty. And now I just have my new first reminder, which is called mom. So now, um, let's just go ahead and remove that link inside of reminder by going to um, add.html and removing it. So now, if I go back to my page and let's say I add asset, I'm back here. Add a new reminder and so on. So we can see how useful these um, um, HTTP response redirect and reverse are to are useful to our application. And so instead of having to um, click um, between two links, I can just use that reverse and HTTP response redirect to automatically be redirected. And so that's it for that video.